Welcome to Retro Plant. Today we're going to be talking about the Analog Duo. And specifically, we're going to talk about this 8 bit do PCE 2.4G controller, which is the controller that Analog recommended on their website to use with the Duo. This is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. It comes with a USB dongle to have it connect to um, the PC Engine uh, Mini or your computer or whatever. And it also comes with a USB cable. So buried inside the Analog Duo user guide, it tells us that we need to upgrade the firmware on this controller in order to have it operate with the 2.4 gigahertz uh, module inside the Duo. So we're going to do that today and show you how to upgrade the firmware. Unfortunately, once you upgrade the firmware, it will work with the Duo and also the Analog Pocket uh, dock, but it will no longer work with the USB dongle. You can get it to work with the USB dongle again if you revert the firmware to the regular version, which I'll also show you at the end of this video. So first I'll show you in the user guide on page 9. It's kind of buried in here. Here it is here. 8BitDo 2.4G controllers require specific firmware to work with Duo. This will disable compatibility <clears throat> with the included original and USB controller port receivers. Unless reverted, the firmware update can be reverted by the same method indicated. Uh, please visit this website for firmware and instructions. This website, again, you can see is the exact same one as the analog pocket dock. So if your controllers are already flashed uh, with the firmware for the dock, it will work with the Duo as well. Uh, but let's do it. Let's just follow the instructions. I have all of the websites I'm going to visit. Uh, here, I'm going to put them in the description of the video so you can find them easily. Let's just do it. So we go here to that website, and we're going to scroll down and find our controller. Here it is with all the color variants. I happen to have the uh, TurboGrafx-16 color, uh, but the white one and the blue one are both here as well. So let's download the firmware. And remember where we downloaded it to. Open that location. Here it is. We are going to extract this file. That will create a folder with the extracted files in it. And there's a text file right here with instructions on how to upgrade the firmware. I'm going to be running on Windows today and show you, showing you all of these steps. But if you are on uh, Mac OS on your MacBook, you can follow these instructions here. So the first thing to do is make sure your controller is off. Uh, mine is currently off. The second step, no, that was the second step. Third step, hold the select button and press the home button to enter upgrade mode. So hold the select button, and press the home button to enter upgrade mode. I don't think I turned it off. There we go. You don't hold it for three seconds, you just tap it. So there it is. Once it's flashing like that, you're good to go. Connect the controller to the PC via a USB cable. I'm just using uh, one that came with the controller. I have another one. This is one that was wrapped. So this is just plugged into my computer in the normal way. And what you will see is a, a USB looking, a new drive is going to pop up like you plugged in a USB drive to your computer. Let's give it a second and it will pop up. There it is. So on my computer, it's the H drive. Okay, put this down. So there it is, the H drive. The next step is, it tells us, as a USB flash drive, copy this file and paste it onto the drive, onto the flash drive. It's in your way. Okay, so that folder where we unzipped everything, there it is. So I'm going to find that DAT file. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it onto the new drive. And just give it a couple seconds to complete. Okay, it's finished. Then unplug the USB cable and hold down the home button for three seconds until all the LEDs turn off. Okay, let's do that. Unplug the USB cable. Press and hold the home button until it turns off. And that's it. This controller is now ready to be used with the Analog Duo or the Analog Pocket Dock. So let's do the reverse. We're going to put the original firmware back onto this controller so that it can be used with the included USB dongle. So to do that, 
it's almost the same, but there's just a different file to download. Let's go through those steps. I'm going to remove the files that we already used. Okay, so for the original firmware, you go to a different website. Again, it will be included in the description. And scroll down and find our controllers. And here's the 2.4G controllers. Here it is, the PCE 2.4G, different firmware. Let's download that. We'll put it in the same place. Exactly like before. Extract the files. And then you can open the instructions and you can see that they're nearly identical. The difference being, of course, they want us to use this original firmware file instead of the other one. So let's follow the steps again. Make sure the controller is off. It is. Hold down the select button. Press home. Your upgrade mode. Make sure you can see the lights flashing. So both lights are flashing. Perfect. <clears throat> Now we connect the controller via the USB cable. Let's do it. Okay. And again, we should see that drive pop up again. Any moment. There it is. Right. Go back to copy this file to the new drive. So here's the drive that popped up. Here is the firmware file that we unzipped. Copy. Here. Paste. Don't pick paste shortcut. That's not going to work. This here. Don't choose this. Choose paste. All right. So now we've done that. That file is now on the new drive that popped up. Unplug the USB cable and hold down the home button. So unplug the USB cable. Hold down the home button. And that's it. Now it's back to using the dongle. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. And thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.